What's up, it's Sadiq, and today we are training shoulders. I'm gonna show you how to hit all three heads of the deltoid, the front, medial, and rear. Alright, I love starting out my delt workouts with dumbbell side raises. The reason is I like to hit this medial delt to add more width and complete the overall look of my physique. Pay attention to what I'm doing with my thumbs on this movement. I'm actually pointing my thumbs slightly downwards as if I'm pouring a pitcher of water. All right, second exercise. We're going straight into the mass building portion of the workout. This is the seated dumbbell press. Here is where I'm trying to exhaust the majority of my gas tank and really focus on maximizing my gains by challenging myself with heavy weight. Moving on to the 85s, and it's obvious I don't have a training partner today, so I'm gonna show you how to do the perfect kickoff. Now, first thing is, I wanna keep the dumbbells closer to my knees, not so much on my quad, but more towards my knees, and I'm gonna put my glutes on the edge of the bench, and I'm gonna then kick my knee up, trying to get my knee as high in the air as possible to self-assist myself. One, two. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh, uh. Next up, we have the standing barbell upright row. This is another great exercise to target your medial delts. What I like to do is keep my hands around shoulder width, and I'm actually trying to drive up towards the ceiling with my elbows. I believe a lot of my bodybuilding success has become from training shoulders. The reason I say this is everyone talks about the V taper, but in fact, the V taper actually starts up top with your delts. If you could get as wide as possible, it's drastically going to improve your physique. All right, now that we're at the tail end of the workout, we're at the midway point. This is when I like to incorporate machines. My body's already fatigued from the first three free weight movements. Now we hit the plate loaded, hammer press. Now, what I like doing here is I'm actually facing the pad, okay? So I'm sitting down, facing the pad, and I feel like I get some more emphasis on my front and medial delts this way. We lean in and press. Now, don't worry if you don't have this particular machine in your gym. You can do this on any shoulder press machine. Now we're on to the final portion of the workout, and it's that time to train our rears. 
Keep in mind that the weight is gonna be light. The muscle is very small, so it doesn't need a tremendous amount of load to activate. We're gonna incorporate a superset. A superset is a great way to increase the intensity of your workout and shuttle blood into those delts. We're doing a bent over reverse fly using dumbbells. Then we're gonna do shrugs using plates. When doing the reverse fly, what you wanna do is two things. First, you wanna get parallel to the floor with your body and then you wanna keep your neck neutral, okay? So we're not gonna scrunch down with our neck when the set gets hard. We're gonna keep it nice and neutral, looking forward. Now guys, I like using plates because if we use dumbbells, it has a tendency to rub against the quad and it takes tensions off in the trap. But with a plate, it's nice and thin and it adds no resistance to your thighs. And there you have it guys, this is a shoulder workout I've been doing for years to develop my deltoids and my physique. If you like this video, stay tuned, I got more coming soon.